So, I figured take a minute and give everybody a quick little tour of our little gardening center out here. And, uh, these little crates, these are uh, crates that Nancy's able to get from work, uh, shipping crates. Um, when they're done with them, when they get their products in, they just throw them away. So, Nancy decided that she would go and uh, ask them if she could have them, and sure enough, they've been giving them to her. So they work out pretty good for making all sorts of little pots and uh, holding for soil and uh, our toys and everything else. And the nice thing is that they're all pretty much exactly the same size and shape, so it makes it so you can make things that are pretty modular, which is what I call our little gardening center over here, is the modular gardening center. <clears throat> and this is essentially made out of the uh, panels at the bottom, <clears throat> the shelves that everything sits on, or more uh, shipping crates that she got from work. As you can see, the, the labels are still on them in some places. <clears throat> what I did <clears throat> was essentially just uh, cut them in half and then put them together end to end and then put some legs on with some braces. Uh, and some scrap wood that I had laying around. Uh, some of the problems we got out here, we basically got, uh, we got critters, we got obviously water, as you can see we're in the desert, so not a heck of a lot of rain here. Um, wind, it gets very windy out here. It's not unusual to have whole days where your winds are between 10 and 15 miles per hour and with gusts of over 20, um, so that can be pretty rough on tomato plants and such. Um, and uh, obviously heat because we are in the desert. Uh, there are days when you know temperatures in the sun are 110, 115, even up to 120 degrees, which uh, you need to protect your plants from that. So we created this uh, modular gardening center here. And she also has this one in the back. This again, another uh, shipping crate. You can probably see right there, property of National Machine. It was just a shipping crate that they were going to throw out. So she brought it home and we repurposed it to make it into a planting bed, raised planting bed, by again just adding some legs to it, some braces. Always like to put a little gravel in the bottom for drainage, drill some holes in the bottom for drainage. This side has probably about uh, uh, 12 holes in the bottom of it, and this side probably the same. And you can see inside here probably we are growing some garlic. Garlic shoots starting to pop up. We just set this up last weekend. It's already starting to get some growth and some shallots in there too, but they're not really. Well, something's popping up over here. Just watered everything this morning. We also have lots of other plants all around the property. They're all in a drip irrigation system that I set up, but the drip irrigation is only for the in ground plants. We didn't set it up for the garden. So we'll go inside. As you see down the bottom, we put some chicken wire down the bottom to keep out the ground squirrels and the bunny rabbits. It only goes most of the way around the bottom. We didn't bother putting it over the doorway. We've been lucky enough to this point that just having the deer mesh, I'm not sure how well you can see the deer mesh on the screen, but there's this deer mesh that covers the entire uh, upper half of the garden center and that keeps the birds out. Uh, and that deer mesh, basically, I just cut a slit in it here and just hung this one piece down the middle. And that's really been enough over the last couple of months to keep anything from wanting to try to get in there. And we just recently added this uh, sunscreen because it's been getting hot. And with temperatures above 100 degrees, we decided that it would be better to give our, shade, our uh, plants a little bit more shade so we didn't have exploded tomatoes. <clears throat> so to go inside, you just walk through the slit, and once you're in here, the sunscreen makes it nice and cool. It lowers the temperature by about 10 to 15 degrees, depending on how hot the day is. <clears throat> it uh, blocks, uh, it's a 80% block, which is a little more than we wanted to do, uh, but we figure with the sides not covered, um, the plants are going to get plenty of uh, reflected sunlight and it's been working out pretty well so far. They've been growing pretty good. Uh, we got the pepper plant up here. 
put a couple two by fours across the top so we could have hanging plants up at the top. The nice thing about having these hanging plants up at the top uh, is that when you water them, if you do get any overwater, which of course we always get a little overwater uh, here in Tucson, since water is at a premium, having the plants down the bottom, they get the benefit from the overwater and from the plants at the top. So it keeps the water in from uh, going to waste. <coughs> they seem to be growing pretty good. <coughs> this tomato plant here, uh, the wife did a little experiment. She found this cocoa uh, potting mix, which is made out of uh, coconut husks all ground up. And she planted this tomato plant in it, and they've been doing great. They really seem to like it. These two here, a few months ago, uh, were all but completely dead. This one here, actually in the middle, that has the big tomatoes on it. He, he was basically completely dead. It, we had a, a freeze when he was just a baby. And he was gone. But I didn't give up on him. <laughs> and he came back, as you can see. He's, he's doing good now. This one here on the end, <clears throat> we had before we got the we got the gardening center set up and he was on the deck over there and he was in the corner and the javelinas came by and pulled him off the deck and scattered his remains all around the whole yard really busting him up pretty good and he's still still kind of recovering from that but he is putting out some fruit so we keep him around and these are uh, as you can see these are uh, the crates that Nancy got from work and uh, they just fit perfectly inside here. You can actually fit three uh, in each one of these, but we got some other odd size pots in here too, uh, just so we could fit a little bit extra stuff inside here. Uh, these are Nancy's green beans, pole beans. She thought they were bush beans, but turns out they're pole beans. And they started growing up the outside of the gear mesh. Pepper plant. I decided to put this shelf in here at the end uh, with this little planter box at the end here just to make use of what would have been dead space otherwise so we got some uh, pepper plants in there and some more beans we put this trellis up here for them to climb on put a little foam at the top of the trellis to keep it from poking through the the uh, sunscreen or the or the deer mesh it seems to work pretty good it's a simple little solution a couple more tomato plants over here some strawberries again in one of those crates Repurposed milk jug. <laughs> we got uh, another pepper plant, the Thai hot peppers. And we got the topsy turvies up top over here. Again, hanging. Uh, and again, any overwater that they get drips down and helps water the plants down the bottom. So we just have to be careful not to overwater the plants at the bottom. Which you really can't because they're all drained. And I, I poked holes in the bottom of the, of the crates as well so that most of the water will drain out the bottom. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to think that with all this wood uh, in the water, it's all going to rot away, and it will eventually. But uh, one of the other benefits slash problems that we have here in Tucson is that uh, it's very dry. In fact, the relative humidity today, I think, is only supposed to be about 8%. Uh, and with the humidity being that low, uh, any moisture that the boards in the wood get in the morning is pretty much gone within an hour or two. Uh, once the sun actually starts to come up, even with the covering. Um, and the added benefit is with that, uh, the little bit of moisture that gets soaked into the boards, uh, it provides a little bit of uh, uh, moisture to be released during the day, which I think, uh, in conjunction with having all the plants in a nice tight vicinity like this, uh, creates a slightly more humid environment for them in comparison to the arid desert all around us. Uh, and I think it helps them grow a little bit better. Got some tomatoes in there there starting to come ripe. We got some over on this side that are coming ripe. <clears throat> some more pepper plants. A little cilantro. Well, that's, uh, that's our little modular gardening center. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.